I'm going to show you how to connect to your student Canvas account in order to check your grades. First thing you need to do is you need to go to the Pattonville Parent Canvas login page, which looks like this. The address is pattonville.instructure.com slash login slash canvas. You may also be able to find it on your school's homepage. Now, if you already have an account, this is where you will log in. If you do not have an account, then you need to create one by clicking the click here for an account button. So this is going to ask for your information. So I'm going to enter my name, my email address, come up with a password, and then you're going to insert your student's pairing code. Now, the pairing code for a student, you'll actually get from the student device. So if I pull up a student's iPad here, all I have to do is with my student's device, they are going to open up their Canvas student app. And in the upper left hand corner, you'll see three lines. And then from here, there's an option for settings. In settings, you will see pair with observer. That's the option I want. There is an option for a QR code for the Canvas Parent app, but we are going to recommend that you use the web version instead of the app because uh, it gives you more control and more information. Uh, the pairing code that I need is down here at the bottom. Now it's important to note that that pairing code is case sensitive, so make sure you pay close attention to capital and lowercase letters. Um, and it is only good for seven days. So you must connect to that pairing code within seven days. If you haven't connected to it within that seven days, that code is no longer valid and you'll have to go through the same process again to generate a new pairing code. Once you're connected, you won't need that pairing code any longer. So once I've created my account, I am now in what's called the Canvas dashboard. Uh, I'm logged in and I should see a little course card or tile for each one of the courses that my student is enrolled in. Um, if I scroll through and look, I should be able to see each subject listed as every single course that your student is enrolled in will have their own individual tile. Now, before we jump into grades, one thing I'd highly recommend that you check, um, it has to do with notifications. So Canvas has the ability to send you lots and lots of notifications if you choose. So I can manage those uh, through the web uh, by going to the account button in the upper left hand corner. I'll see my name listed here and I can go down to notifications. Now the notifications window is going to give you all of the different information that you have the ability to be notified about. And there's a lot. Um, each notification has four different types of notifications that you can receive. So if I clicked on one, for example, if it is a green bell that tells me that I can receive this notification immediately, uh, if it is, if I'd rather have a daily summary of those notifications, that's what that icon looks like. There's a weekly summary or simply turning off notifications. The ones I would highly recommend that you leave turned on would be announcements because that is going to notify you anytime your teacher has left an announcement for those students. Typically these are reminders on things like field trips coming up or uh, tests or quizzes coming up or things that are due and so on. And I'd also highly recommend that you turn grading notifications on. This will notify you when your student receives a grade on something, a teacher has left a grade. And again, it's up to you whether you want that to be at the end of the day, immediately, or at the end of the week. Um, if you would also like that grade to include the scores in that email that you receive, you can choose to turn that on or off, or it will simply tell you a score or something's been graded, but you'll have to click on it to be able to see it. All of the other notifications, it's up to you on which ones that you would like to have turned on or off by simply clicking which ones you want to receive. So this is an example of an email that you might receive whenever a student receives a grade. Uh, it will come from a company called InStructure. That's the company who makes Canvas. Uh, if you are not receiving emails, you may also need to check your junk or spam folder. So this tells me that a grade on an assignment has been changed or maybe has been entered. And so in here, I have the option in this assignment to either view that assignment or to update my notification settings 
uh, if I don't want to receive these emails anymore. So if I tell it to review the assignment, it will take me back into that course when I log in and it'll show me what the student's grade is and any feedback that was left on that assignment. And again, if the student was submitting something and I wanted to view their submission, I would be able to do that as well. Now, if you have more than one student, you can also control that in these settings under the observing section here. Observing allows you to add additional pairing codes. So you only need one parent account for Canvas. Um, and so if you have multiple students, you'll actually uh, create your account and connect one student to start. And then under your account settings, you can go to observing and add all of the other pairing codes for any additional students you have to see any sixth through 12th grade student, since those are the grades that use Canvas, um, right here in your same account. You do not need a separate account for every single child.